have been hot topics earlier this week talking about how parents in Compton, California were enraged at their local school for letting ex-porn star Sasha Gray, who starred in about 200 hardcore films, read to their first and third grade children. So Sasha's here to answer critics today. We want to welcome our real-life hot topic, Sasha Gray. Thank Sasha, you. welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. We're glad you're here. Glad to be here. So, uh, let me put this on November 2nd, you were a guest reader for first and third grade students at Emerson Elementary School, which was in Compton. Now, you were invited to read to the school by the, the Compton, California Unified School District's reading program. So, mm -hmm. I, we got to make it clear that you are not affiliated with the National Education Association's Read Across America That's program. Right. So, do you think the school did anything wrong by having you come in and read to the kids? I, I... Honestly, I don't think so, no. Um, should they have informed the parents? Yes, but I think they should inform the parents whenever there's a guest speaker, no matter what their past is and or their the profession. resume, you think so? Say, well, porn, an next porn star is coming to read the books to you today? What would the kids make of that? But I don't, no, to the parents, to not the to the parents. children. Not to the parents. And what if yeah. the parents had then, said, yeah. I object? Well, then I wouldn't have done it. But there was no notice oh, sent see. out. Yeah. yeah. And see, that's the issue. So it, you would have been okay with that. Yeah, because we, we talked about this. That's the issue I had. It was just like, you know, parents are not informed. Because um, I, right. I know my thing was, with Jeffrey, my son is six years old, and I feel like, because I've done these programs too, if he comes home and says, you know, mommy, who's Sasha Gray, I like to let him know, this is a fireman, this is what they do, this is what right. police officer. If I bring up Sasha Gray... She's it, also an actress, don't forget. But on Entourage, you play Sasha Gray, don't you? You the, the, A uh, porn star on Entourage, you play yourself. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a fictionalized version of myself, yes, but it was a porn star Because I, I watch right. Entourage, and I know in Entourage, it was like an episode of you broke up, your, your boyfriend broke up with you um, because you wanted to do a scene right. like... A so on Entourage, that's what you're playing. Okay, but do you, you. feel that's now? I'm sorry. Do you feel now that you can get beyond this? That you will, this is a, a stigma uh, that you have to face? I think so. I mean, it, I, I feel that there was a lot of sanctimonious media firestorm thrown at me. Um, however, I've always gone after what I want, and I will continue to do that. Why and did you want so much to do this? It's the reading was very important to me as a kid, yeah. and it was very inspirational for me. I um, I went to a school where that wasn't encouraged so much, but my parents encouraged that in me, and it, it what, has what made, made me part of who I am. What made you want to be a porn star? I think is is that the question? What well, is my wanna... question was, can you ever? Is it always going to be there as a stigma? Well, but your this... question is, why did you become a porn star? But think yeah. of this: the sex tapes that uh, these girls have made, and they become big stars in this country. Well, so uh, let me ask. I'm, I'm just curious. <laughs> I, I'm just curious about the the stigma, because I, you didn't kill anybody. You haven't uh, raped any children. You haven't. Uh, vomited, you know, in church. I I'm not sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? I I well, I'm being not a porn sure. star is not something you hope that your children you know will aspire to. I, I have to tell you, Barbara, object. I grew up across the street. Not I grew up. My daughter grew up across the street, and we were great friends of a, two people who were in the industry. And so my, I guess my thing is, do you feel it's a stigma? Do you think it was something that was disgusting that you did? I do not. I don't have any regrets and I made a very conscious choice to enter that business mm -hmm. why? and why yeah why did I enter the business yeah well, I mean, you believe in education you could have been a teacher you the fact that you wanted to uh, work with children is wonderful whatever <laughs> <laughs> What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? You know, but I think why did you go back? Could have been a librarian girl. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people have that share that same opinion. But this was something that I I wanted to do and I wanted to go after. And it was a for me one of the large reasons was to stop the stigma and stop the stereotypes that people have against the adult film industry. So you went, in, you went in porn specifically to, to make people aware in it that it's not so bad? That was, yeah, that was one of the many reasons. And the other reason was because I grew up ashamed of my sexuality. And I, I felt guilty and disgusted at my sexuality. And the more I researched and the more I it opened my mind, it felt for me like it was a good decision. And I'm... I don't have any regrets. How much of it is real that. and how much is it acting, though? Tell us. Oh, I mean, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. To, get, you to get back to this, so you feel that the parents should have been informed and that would have been okay with you and that I assume that you would like to continue to read to children? I, definitely. I mean, if it's not reading to children, I would like to, 
you know, devote my time contributing to the community in some way, in some form. I mean, if you guys were in that classroom, you see the pictures, those kids were so happy. It wasn't about my past. Well, I you think they denied it because they didn't at first the Compton uh, Unified School District denied that you right. were there. Do they're you... afraid. I mean, they're afraid of being judged like I am often judged. So I understand that. I understand not wanting to admit something because... Why did you stop being a porn star? You were only 23. You were making money and... Why did yeah, you, you stop? Yeah, were tiring already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at, at 21, actually. Um, I got a great opportunity to be in a Steven Soderbergh film, and after that, I, I changed my mind, and I just decided I was going to go for that and, and try something different and try, try something new, and I felt like I'd accomplished what I wanted to as a performer, and the only thing left for me would have been to start my own company. Your real name is Marina Ann Hansis. Mm -hmm. So where did Sasha Gray come from? Sasha comes from the singer of a band called KMFDM, and Gray comes from the picture of Dorian Gray, the novel. Well, uh -huh. Sasha, you know what? Thank you so much for coming. Thank it was you. real courageous of you to come in and defend yourself against everything. Thank you. Are we fair? We want to thank Sasha Gray. We'll be right back with Diane Keaton.